Today you will learn how to put a subject through the leaves like you can see on this photo right here easily in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. Just one note before we jump straight into Photoshop. When I say easily, it doesn't mean fast. So sometimes you need to invest time, but it's really easy process. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and this is the photo that we will start with. You can use any photo for leaves, like you can see right here, you can take your own photos, just Google it online, use it whatever you want for your needs. But I will show you really, really easy procedure how you can put a subject to leaves. For this example, I choose really cute panda. You can use whatever you want, a person, an other animal, whatever you want. So the point here is that I will just jump few steps because they take some time, but I will explain you exactly what to do. So here I already extracted the panda out of the background. I use this folder right here, as you can see, and I use quick selection tool and just quickly, as you can see, selected the face and ears, and this is it. I copy it to this document right there. Then the next step is to put some leaves over the panda's head to have impression that the panda is actually behind the leaves. So there are so many ways how you can do that. You can just go and uh, extract some leaves from here. You can, for example, use lasso tool and just go like this, as you can see. Just use that and go to the background, press Control or Command J to copy it. And let's bring back panda back and put leaves over the top and here it is and then you can just move it and put a lot of leaves in the front of the panda that's one way I use that way one part of this process is I just use that way another way is just to create a layer mask let's just make a copy of panda and delete layer mask to show you so let's create a layer mask and then with a brush I use I'm using harder brush but something around 75% of hardness and Put this to 50% opacity or so, okay, like that. And then I'm just removing with the black color, I'm just removing 100% opacity. Uh, these things right there, so to make the impression that actually those leaves, I'm gonna do this really quickly. So to make impression that actually these leaves are over his head. And this is where this process takes a little bit of the time, but it's really easy. So you just need to do this, but really nice and precise. And let me show really quickly. This is so sloppy job, but just for your information to show what you can do and then bring back this to 100%. And I made a big mess. I didn't paint a layer mask, but let's see what we can, how we can fix this. So let's go with Let's go with this. Okay, so I will make this and this is it. So this is how you should do it. Paint on a layer mask, not on a panda. And now you have impression that the leaves are over the top of the panda. So I did exactly that with this layer mask right here. So uh, I painted a few of the leaves right here over the top. And this is how it looks. It's a big mess because then I use all of these one, two, three, four, five, six layers. And from these six layers, I just copy the parts of the photo and paste it again over the top. There are some things that are uh, repeating. So for example, you can see these leaves right here and these leaves are repeating because I have limited resources, just one photo. But if you're taking your own photos, you can just make several snapshots of the leaf background and then just use different parts of that background to place over the top of the panda. So it's really simple, really easy. Again, I can show you one more time. I will duplicate the background, Control Command J, put it over the top. And if I, for example, want this part to use for the panda, I can use even quick selection tool. Let me show you a quick selection tool. Quickly try to select this and this and this, and maybe let's select all of this again you need to be a little slower a little bit precise than I am doing right here but you got a point so select everything that you want I'm pressing Control or command J made a copy of that and now I can move this wherever I want so for example I want to put it here or I can control command T rotate it maybe put it right here at the top etc so this is the procedure it's really really simple and really easy now this is not a final 
job. Now you need to add some shadows to make the impression that these leaves are actually above the panda's head. So how to do that? Well, let's delete this. We can go below the leaves, create a layer. I will name it shadow. And here I will just copy this same layer mask out or option and drag it here just to be able to draw below the leaves, below that layer mask. Otherwise I will draw, wait, otherwise I will draw above everything. So I don't want that. So this is really cool way to draw below these already selected leaves. Okay, and to do that, I will put this layer into a multiply blending mode and I will go with a brush, alt or option and sample dark green tone, something like this. Let's see, that's perfect. And I will choose soft brush and I will go with 20% opacity and now slowly build the scene. So I will presume that, I will assume that the, the light is coming from the top, like you can see here in the pandas. I saw that means that everything here below the leaves will be darker and some parts of the panda here will be again darker. This part will be darker, so I'm now doing this really quickly. Just to save your time watching me doing this, but you can spend as much time as you want. And then go to the leaves and if you're making just short shadows like this, then you will have impression that the leaves are basically almost just above the panda. But if you make like a bigger shadow like this, see, and here, like that, or even bigger if you want. Now the leaves is a little bit above the panda and that's the point. So you can use shadows to make the impression that the leaves are more uh, closer to the panda or further away, but this is it. Okay, now I will fast forward this process and show you the, not the final result, but this sloppy result really quickly. So, this is almost it, so let, let me show you. Before shadows and after making some shadows, it's really, really big difference and this uh, helps to, to sell the impression that actually there really leaves and it's over the top of the panda's head. It's really nice and cute image. You can see it's simple like that. So you, so you just need to cut out some leaves, put over the top, add shadows and that's basically it. So if you want to add even more shadows on some parts, you can create another layer and name it shadow number two, for example, again, multiply blending mode. And then what you can do, you can make some parts even darker and make even, even believable, uh, more believable photos. So here I'm just doing a quick job over the edges, but then you can go and create uh, even some shadows over the leaves so we can go right here leaves shadow and I'm just giving you some idea guys and you can go and say I want the shadow from this leaf on this one right there so this is an option too like like that and then you have that as an option and so on and so forth so you can you can do whatever you want with these kind of things right there but the idea is to have background Put a subject over the top and just put some leaves over the top of the subject and add some shadows and it's really nice and simple and with this technique you can create some really really cool photos postcards whatever and uh, enjoy uh, using that for whatever you want also you can add some elements like some small animals like butterflies ladybugs or whatever over the top of that or just be creative and do with this whatever you want. Also guys, if you want to learn how to create realistic photo manipulations from start to beginning, from finding an idea all the way to final concept, I have a full course dedicated to that. It's called Photo Manipulation Essentials and currently is on a discount 
for that you have the link down there in the description and you can check it out all right guys that would be it for today i really hope that you like this episode that you learn some really cool tips tricks and techniques from this one if you have any kind of questions just ask me down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it and also if you like it please like this episode i would appreciate that share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already if you're not a subscriber and watching this episode consider subscribing for all the content that i have and that i will bring to this channel have fun experiment and see you in my next fun tutorial Bye-bye.